the well-defined kingdom of Nubia, Nessie and the neighbor, and Taharka in the land of Taseti. The kingdom of Nubia. I wonder why people get irate when I say Nessie means Nubian. I don't know, but I'll be real simple to make things clear. I already addressed the popular Egyptological definition of Nessie as Nubian in my document Conversations on Nessie, the Nubian Pharaoh. We also discussed how Nubians sometimes get confused with Kushites. You can see the breakdown on my WordPress. Anyway, today I want to present more sources that will help us know the borders of the kingdom of Nubia. You know what I mean? I also try to present sources and information while keeping my commentary to a minimum, but we'll see how that works. Now, first thing we need to deal with is the four races of mankind in the Book of Gates. You know what I'm saying? The people of Tot Nessie were represented in the four races of mankind in the Book of Gates as Nahisu. You can see E.A. Wallace Budge's translation, you know what I'm saying? And when looking at that translation, just know the questionable part of the translation don't concern the transliteration of the term Nihisu. Nihisu are represented in the four races of mankind. Sometimes I wonder why Kushites wasn't represented in the four races of mankind. I mean, when I do my studies, you know what I'm talking about? Budge translated, I was content with the hundreds of thousands of beings who came forth from me in your name of Nihisu, okay? Now, we could look at different translations and still see Nihisu represented in the four races of mankind. Go look at the Thebian mapping project and see photos of Nihisu, you know what I'm saying? And my point of emphasis is only that Nihisu were prominent people in Egyptian mythology, represented socially, but not racially, as other than Egyptians, you know what I'm saying? Straight up. So let's acknowledge that first. They was represented as a people in the Book of Gates. Now, I done heard people talking about it wasn't no borders established of Nubia. Well, or ta Nehesi didn't have borders or no crown. But what I did do was go look into the primary accounts and bring back some information for my brothers to scrutinize. And what I want you to deal with is contrary to popular belief, there was a crown to ta Nehesi. You know what I mean? I don't mean a crown of Upper Egypt. I don't mean a crown a lower Egypt, I mean a crown of ta Nehesi, you know what I'm saying? You can look at the quote from Hesiotef and witness the crown of Nubia manifest, you know what I'm saying? This is off his stellar. He said, Amun of Napata has said to me, I give you the crown of the land of Nubia. I give you the four corners of the land in its entirety. I give you good water. I give you the sky a good rain. And that's out the Journal of Egyptian Archaeology, Volume 95, 2009. You know what I'm saying? And what we need to do is understand that the sky of good rain ain't the Egyptian sky. You know what I mean? The sky of good rain is the sky over ta If we read enough primary documents, we know this already. You know what I'm saying? And if we want to scrutinize the term they used in the document for crown, it was pa-shu. Okay? pa -shiu. It was either Pashu, Pashiu, but well, we already know if we look into the Coptic, the word for crown, I would equate this to Shiwohi, which is like the top of the head or the crown, you know what I'm saying? Or we could look into the Greek, it'd probably be a Pashent. Actually, that was the Greek name for an Egyptian crown called the Shikimti. They called it the Pashent. What Heresiotef is saying is I was blessed by Amun, the Egyptian god, from the Pata, a Kushite land, to conquer ta -Nehesi. That is the area between the first and second cataract. You know what I'm saying? The same area with all the gold lands of Nup are in Nubia. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? So, well, I mean... I mean, if you look at the Stella of Senro Set the Third, you know what I'm saying? Senro Set the Third was attempting to confine Nessie to areas below the second cataract. Even though Senro Set never mentions Kushites, he mentioned that he wanted to keep Nehesi below what he called a hay or his border, you know what I'm saying? Or his Tesh Reshu, you know what I'm saying? Or Tesh Reshi, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's his southern border, you know what I'm saying? But uh, what else I'm talking about? <laughs> so there was borders of Tana Hesse then, you know what I mean? We see the crown of Tana Hesse manifested by Hesiotef, you know what I'm saying? We see the four corners of Tana Hesse. 
we see a kingdom. You got borders, you got a crown, you got abundant resources, highly sought after soldiers. You got people represented in Egyptian mythology as one of the four races of mankind. You got a kingdom. So there we have it. The kingdom of Ta-Nehisi. <laughs> I like to call it Nubia. So does Theophilo Banger. So does She Can't Shop. So does Dr. Ben. So um, if y'all want to know how Nessie indicates Southern, you can read my blog, Rap God at WordPress. Other than that, stay healthy.